Yankees want to bring players here that can help them win. All right? And neither of these two guys has the resume in the postseason that guarantees you that they're going to win. And that's got to be part of the uh, assessment here as well. The Yankees are not making this deal to fill seats. They're not making this deal to get more people to watch yes. They're getting plenty of viewers watching us and the Yankees and the Nets. They're making this move to win a championship. So if these guys go to the Hall of Fame in the length of their contract and the Yankees don't win, the fans will look at it as a failure. Because that's why the Yankees make the moves they make. Because if you listen to them, they keep telling you they think they're as good as the Red Sox, that they could have beaten the Red Sox, right? We heard it from everybody. Randy Levine has said it. Hal Steinbrenner said it. Brian um, Cashman said it. We had Aaron Boone on. Oh, we, we, we feel right there with the Red Sox. If you sign Machado, you obviously don't think you're right there with the Red Sox. You think you're significantly behind them. I'm, or they just want to be significantly ahead of them. We'll see. And if not, again, Alex Rodriguez won MVPs, not MVP, MVPs as a Yankee. Until 2009, any Yankee fan thought that that acquisition of Alex Rodriguez worked? Not if you're, not if you're popping up with the bases loaded and nobody out in the World Series. So that's why the Yankees are different than a lot of other teams. They're making moves to win. That's what they're looking to do. If they can get Machado for six, then I'd be on board. But why would he give the Yankees six when everybody else might be willing to give him ten? I know he wants to play for the Yankees, okay? I know Harper wants to play for the Yankees. Everybody wants to play for the Yankees. You're giving that kind of a discount to be a Yankee? Four years? Three years? Hey, if the Yankees can do it, Brian Cashman should have a day. I don't think he can't retire his number. He doesn't have a, a number. I don't know. Uh, put his bald head on a piece of, uh, on a big, uh, huge uh, frame and, and put it up at, the, at Yankee Stadium, right next to George Steinbrenner's picture. If he can get Machado at six years, that would be unbelievable. And I, and I obviously would change my opinion if they get him for six. But, but ten's a lot. And don't start. That, see, that's what's just so amazing to me, Peter. I hope we mark these callers down. Oh, D.D.'s old and he's injury prone. And Duhar can't feel. If they don't get Machado, guess what? These are the guys that are on your team now, okay? So let's see if you're going to be complaining about them when now these are the guys that are going to help you win a championship, okay? But that's what, this is why sports arguments frustrate me. It's just arguing for the sake of arguing. Because you're just also presenting a picture of look how it could turn out to not be worth it, which may not happen. We don't know either. No, I, I, I know. I mean, and, 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 by the way, what opinions are. I was going to say, we right. might as well cancel Sports Talk Radio but, but, based on what I'm but saying. You but you give somebody a 10-year contract, you have to factor in what that means to the team. Now, if you can get them for six years, it's a different story. But see, the fans don't think about that because the fans live in the now. They want to win a championship in 2019. They don't care about what happens the next nine years. But the Yankees can't afford to do that, right? So when you, when you drop a 10-year contract into the mix... There comes inherent negatives around that. But the fan only thinks about what's going to help us beat the Red Sox and win a championship in 2019. Brian Cashman can't afford to think that way. And even if you win the championship in 2019, the same fans will be bitching and moaning five, six years from now if Machado's a broken-down player not living up to expectations, Andujar is raking someplace in, in Baltimore or Kansas City, and the team's not winning championships. Because you'll be like, look, look at this contract we had. Yeah, we won in 2019, but it'll be a bunch of yeah buts. We won in 2019, but look. Look where we are now.